Hey guys, quick review. Uh, this is from Imaginary Authors. Um, our man Josh Meyer, such a great guy. That's what makes this house a little bit more special too. Is um, you know he's just a class act, excellent uh, gentleman, and uh, just a great guy. So, just wanted to shout out to him. And this house is amazing. You can see behind me is my um, my little uh, bookshelf here with all of his uh, with all of his books and, and and stories. It's it's amazing. Fragrances are a story, kind of you know. So. It was cool, his, just his whole idea with, you know, um, bringing us, you know, books about stories and stuff with fragrances, so. But excellent house, uh, I really love imaginary authors, and again, Josh Meyer, great, great, great guy. So, uh, we're gonna talk about Every Storm a Serenade. So here's the actual bottle. Hopefully, um, the, you can focus. Uh, the new top, the new cap is pretty cool. You put a little IA on there for imaginary authors is nice a little good touch here's your sprayer if you can see really nice spray good distribution so nice new bottle look I like the old ones too but the new ones kind of cool so but there it is he always shows us the notes in the uh, in the back of his fragrance which is really cool so but just a great bottle nice to hold on to and everything easy to spray and everything so but uh, every storm of serenade getting into it real quick um, you know, this, this comes off right away as just a, a blast of just aquatic, um, you know, e eucalyptus. You have um, some bright vetiver in there. It's just a, just a blast of something that I really haven't, you know, a lot of times it's, you think it's, you know, designer mode when it's just fresh, you know what I mean? But this is really out there kind of. I mean, it's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's not like Aqua de Jo, maybe has some hints of it. It's not like... You know, Sauvage, it's not like a lot of the, just the regular, you know, and I'm not saying any of those are, are bad. I mean, those are awesome. I mean, I love those designers. I, you know, grew up on them and I love those. But this kind of just has its own thing going on with some ambergris in there. Um, you know, and this one kind of goes in two directions. Um, you know, when I first got it, it was winter time, and that's when it came out. You know, you kind of think of, um, you know, water coming off of the mountains, um, you know, like melting snow off the mountains. That's what I kind of thought with some, you know, with some pine trees, some citrus, or I'm, I'm sorry, with some spruce going on. Now what I kind of get with some warmer air and warmer weather, which this is awesome in the warmer weather, is now I'm seeing the, the ocean. You know, I get, you kind of, if you look out the beautiful ocean, look over to your left, you have some beautiful pine trees just with crazy spruce, you know, spruce bushes and trees going on. So you really get a lot of spruce off of this in the top too. Uh, you're going to get a little bit of saltiness. So he's got that balsamic, um, you know, the ocean thing going on there. So you kind of get like some salt water going on. You get the, the sizzle, the, like the, I'm sorry, the, the fizz, like kind of, um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of wet, you know, in, in a way. So I do, you know, we did a big collaboration with with great reviewers and you know definitely some of them said they have that ocean kind of thing the aquatic thing going on and now i do i do get that you know at first i kind of got a lot of the the spruce you know the eucalyptus you know which is kind of cooling but now you can kind of look at it the other way and you get that i mean this is perfect for warm weather you know so that's when you get the you know the ocean the the saltiness the, the salt water kind of thing going on um, you still get that the spruce in there, which is beautiful, eucalyptus, and then ambergris, which is excellent. Like I said, it kind of holds everything together, which is just a great note, expensive, you know, um, ingredient, but he's using it and it's just excellent. Um, you know, this is just a really, a really great fragrance. And then at the dry down, you get this nice vetiver, you know, it's not dirty. It's not Encore Noir, you know, this is basically just a nice fresh vetiver. Um, you know, I heard Frag Boy Stewie say it's kind of like the gray vetiver from Tom Ford, but this is maybe a little bit brighter. So, um, you know, you kind of, I kind of get that as well. So, but just an excellent, excellent fragrance. Uh, $95 right on Imaginary Author's site. Uh, complete versatility with this one. I give it a 10 out of 10 for versatility. I wear it at work, get a lot of compliments. I could see, you know, night out, a uh, nice warm day, a cooler day. It does project uh, very, very well. You know, a good three to four hours projection, which is strong. Uh, six to seven hours, it gets a little bit close to the skin, but it still stays on the skin. It's still lasting. So I'm getting a good eight to 10 hours, but I'm so excited to see this, uh, see what it'll do in the, in the hot summer. You know, that's when I think this will shine too, you know, just with, you know, with your, your body heat and everything going on. So, 
but this is, I think it's just going to be an excellent uh, fragrance for the warmer weather too, warmer months. But like I said, versatility is excellent. So you can wear it kind of all seasons. You know, it's one of those fragrances that, you know, I grab it sometimes for the gym. I definitely wear it to work. Um, definitely unisex. You know, I see, I can see a female, definitely a woman wearing this, you know, so just a, you know, and his house is so, you know, there's so many crazy scents going on and, and there's just a fragrance for everyone, you know, in this house, you know, he's got a little, so some unique stuff going on, but then he's got like, you know, mosaic, uh, every storm of serenade that it's really wearable, you know, and that's what I love about uh, this fragrance too. It's, it's easy to grab, you know what I mean? When you're, when you're looking on your shelves and boom, you just, you can wear this to any event, any, any occasion. So definitely, you know, a 10 out of 10 for versatility, but just a great fragrance. Like I said, I know kind of, you know, explaining a lot with all the crazy notes, but it just comes off as just this very fresh, you know, I don't want to say aquatic because it's got some spruce, ambergris. I mean, it's it's a lot more than just an aquatic scent. You guys got to, you know, smell it for yourself. And then the vetiver really plays a role in it too. So, but excellent fragrance, like I said. Um, you know, check it out, Imaginary Authors. Our man, Josh Meyer, he's such a great guy, you know, in the community, um, always talking to us. And, and, you know, keep doing your thing, Josh. You know, bring out some more fragrances because you do an excellent job, you know. And there's just something about the DNA in each fragrance a little bit. It kind of has your little signature on it, so, and I like it, you know. But excellent fragrances, like I said, I, I have uh, most of his fragrances. And, you know, it's just a fantastic house. So, but thanks again, guys, for everything and, uh, you know, watching my videos. And um, thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. But take care. So lies, are you who you wanna be?